everyone. Back in 2010, I started Emshell Designs as a business making 3D canvas and personalizing them by putting heartfelt messages. During Christmas in 2010, I made personalized canvas for each of my family members as gifts. A lot of my friends saw these arts and they started ordering from me. I decided to go to trade shows to market my business and actually do a raffle for some of the some of the brides there to win one free canvas painting. I even decorated my daughter's room with one of my arts. I made a 30 by 30 canvas with nine pictures of her newborn shots when she was only seven days old. Oh my gosh, I remember that. So today, I want to show you how you can make your own canvas picture to display on your wall. First, you're going to need um, a blank 16 by 20 canvas a 16 by 20 pitcher, a mud podge, and a black acrylic paint, all-purpose glue, a sponge brush. You're also going to need scissors. And this particular one that you're going to get for the back of the canvas is the sawtooth hangers and a hammer. So next, you're going to want to trim your pictures by using the scissors, or if you have a big cutter, you can also use that as well. If you prefer to have rounded corners, you can do that as well. So next, you're going to need a black acrylic paint because you're going to paint the sides of the canvas. Make sure to shake it and paint away. Once it's done, you're going to need a mud podge and a sponge brush, a clean one because what you're going to use that for is to seal the paint on the canvas this way the paint won't come off and don't worry about those white um, mud podge that you see it's going to dry up hello how you doing glad i crossed your path today and no, I'm nothing really special But I've got a lot to say Man, that smile, how it holds me And catches me off guard And that voice... One thing I use is the blow dryer for the hair to blow dry the canvas so the paint and the mud podge could dry up a little faster so for this project that's what I did because I want to speed things up a little bit so once it's dry you want to take your your picture and kind of place it on the canvas to see if you need to trim it up a little bit more. Um, you want to make sure that it really fits the canvas. Um, that's the reason why you painted the sides black so that it doesn't show even if you cut it um, more than you need to. So <laughs> this time you're going to use the glue to generously put it on the back of the picture so it can stick on the, the canvas.
So set aside the pitcher, get the Mud Podge and the brush and spread the Mud Podge all over the canvas. This is going to act as a glue for your pitcher. going to want to carefully really carefully try to place it on the canvas now and you see those white stuff on the side like I said don't worry about them they're gonna dry up and you want to make sure that you don't put any glue on the picture because it will leave a mark in this case I, I, I actually did leave a little bit of those <laughs> that's why I am using wet ones um, to, to dry up or to take out the excess, the excess glue on the side and it's okay it's not gonna ruin the, the picture it's not gonna ruin the, the paint as well so you're just gonna press your hand against the picture just so you can kind of spread the glue that you put on a while ago when you put the glue on the back all over so you're going to want to put pressure on it and you're going to see some white glue coming out there and it'll come off. You can come off. It'll come off. You can use the white, um, you can use the, the wet ones to kind of wipe that out as well if you want. Like what I'm doing here. Giving hearts away with letters, twining lips together. So once you're done, you're going to want to turn it over and make sure on the top, on the back top of your canvas, you are going to use the uh, sawtooth hangers and I use the large one for this canvas and it comes with two small nails and make sure to place it in the middle. Something extraordinary on February the 14th. Join the people around, giving hearts away with letters, twining lips together. There you go, you're all done. So, I went ahead and tried hanging it up on the wall last night. I like it, but I wanted to take it up to the next step. I wanted to do something different and kind of added a little bit more pizzazz to it and added one larger canvas, painted it gold around and then and glued my picture or the can the 16 by 20 canvas on top of it to make it look like a frame. There you go. Hope you found this helpful and um, I'll be doing a lot more DIYs in the future. So don't forget to subscribe. Bye! If there's no one beside